How's it going guys? It is Golazio here. Welcome back to another FIFA 21 career mode. This is a brand new series and I hope you're all hyped. Of course, I've been making you wait for quite a while to actually do this series. So I'm thinking we're finally here. We're going to be doing it and it is my Blackburn Rovers career mode. So let's make a few changes to obviously the Sterling, which is one of the things. We're going to keep it on legendary difficulty for the time being and actually see how we actually do. When we was doing the Tigers career mode, it was pretty half decent. We weren't too shabby. I'm going to leave the negotiations on loose because I want to have a little bit of fun with the players that we do bring in. And this is an opportunity for you because one of the things you've mentioned in my last crew mode is that you wanted to have it longer. You wanted to be more involved again. I was like, wow, okay, let's get you involved and let's let this season run a little longer than it normally does. So we're actually going to be doing a several season career mode. Potentially this could run us all the way to the end, but I am super excited to see what we can actually do. But first things first, let's get the trophy, the preseason with the most money to make sure we have a nice little bit of a healthy budget to actually begin with. This is my character. This is the manager. We got a nice little comb over look. We got the, the shirt. We got the navy blue uh, suit jacket and stuff like that. So we got the proper Blackburn Rovers-esque look. So I'm really looking forward to looking, looking after Blackburn. Rovers, of course, Black and Rovers, my favorite team. I support them, but we have got a very decent side on our front. And I have to say, this is the current team. It's a 4 3 3 current rock game, which is brilliant because I love a 4 3 3. And uh, they've got some very good players. Even Pike has come in, which is brilliant as well. So, some very good players already in this side. What we're going to have to do is sort out the team and figure out what the final formation will be and also the players that we're going to be doing that starting 11 before we make any changes. Because my first thought is. You know, Ben Burton is decent down the left. I think uh, our wingers and stuff, we need to think about Eddie at leaving. Dolan as well, he's going to be starting. But our side done pretty decent. So, before we move on, let's actually do the formation which I think I'm going to go with, which is actually a 4 3 2 1. This is a formation that I love at the minute. It's a, a very narrow playing formation, but can play out wide if you wish. So, of course, we want our CDM in there. Holtby, we want starting. Rothwell, we're not going to start. Of course, we want Bradley Tark in there. You know he's injured in real life. Again, I'm absolutely gutted for him, honestly. honestly. Uh, where's he to? 74 rated. We're going to get him boost him right up there. There's a part of me tempted to change this formation to more of a, a 2 and then a 1. Actually, that's what we're going to do. Let's actually adjust the position. We're going to put you here. That should make you more of a cam. Awesome. Let's bring Bradley Dyke. Of course, Bradley Dyke's not going to be in this position. Let's bring Bradley Dyke a little in a little bit. There we go. That should put... Let's put him LCM. And then Hulk B. What we used to do, we have, used to have like a weird triangle formation. But this should be a right RCM. There we go. Let's switch those two around. We got... You know what? A nice passer in Holt B. Evans, a really solid CDM. But I'm probably going to put Lewis Travis here, actually, to begin with. Tribal, I'm tempted to actually consider starting, but we'll figure that out in due course. But, of course, Harvey Elliott, we want to try and take advantage of while we can while he's here on loan. Ben Brewer, then we're going to leave there as well. Down our left-hand side, we've got Douglas. I'm going to put uh, Bell there for the time being. Because Bell's got a little bit of pace, and I think he could do pretty decent for us. Uh, Lenny and a centre back is going to be our big thing. So what I want you to do right now, let's go back here. So we've got so many defenders in on loan, which is something which I'm a little concerned about. So one of the players I want you to suggest in the comment section below before the transfer window ends is an actual centre back that you think we should actually sign. Because I think Lenyon is actually pretty decent. I think he's going to do okay. He's got a couple of years left on him yet, I think. I don't know how old he is. He doesn't actually say. Um, I thought he used to say. It doesn't say anymore, does it? No. Oh, he's 26. Here we go. He's further down. Uh, so he's 26 years old, so he's not too bad. Maybe he's going to be starting. But let's have a quick look at our defence and... Uh, Brandweight is an actually brilliant player. We're probably going to start him because the other guy, which I... Where's... Um, oh, I can't find him. Where's he too? Wait, is he not on our team? Why is he not on our team? Um, oh, I forgot his name now. He's... Oh, Ayala. There we go. That's who I was actually looking for. I was looking for Ayala to actually put in there. I think these two will be pretty decent just to kind of get the ball rolling for us. But definitely looking for someone to actually pair up with against Lenny. And so I think to start off with... This is going to be our side. I'm really excited with our side. Um, actually, and before we go ahead, let's sort the bench out because Peters, I'm not too. I'm going to leave a goalkeeper on there, but what I'm actually going to do with the goalkeeper per is put him there. Peters is, you know what, he's he's done all right. He hasn't done too brilliantly for us at the minute. That defensive wise, that's a very defensive mindset 
players. So let's just switch these up a little bit. We got a striker. Let's put Rothwell there. Buckley as well. You know, actually, you know what? Tribal's not even playing. He's on loan, so I'm going to move him. Let's sort these out. Pike as well and kind of... Ooh, I don't know where to put him on the bench. Not too sure there, boss. Let me know in the comment section below what you think we should actually do. Ryan Casello as well. We've got some really decent players in our realm to actually help us move forward in this league. I, I have no doubt that we could do very, very well uh, with this current side that we do have without even signing anyone, if I'm actually honest with you. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm kind of interested to see how this goes. But I'm just organized this. Stuart Downer, of course, we're probably going to end up selling. Can't see him, play, him playing for us for very long. But one of the things as well that I've noticed, we are lacking very attack midfielder players or just not actually. We're quite balanced. I think right? we are a very balanced side. Um, so, pretty decent. I'm looking at the side and I'm thinking, you know what? Potentially another midfielder. Nice little solid midfielder like Camavano or someone like that. And another centre back. I don't know who I could bring in. A, and a left back as well, actually. I think a left back could work well for us. I'm not going to add anyone to my transfer list for the time being because I want you to suggest some players in the comment section. But right now, it doesn't look like I'm going to be selling anyone. And we're probably going to have around £9 million to actually spend. I think that's quite reasonable. A hundred grand wage. No one's going to be over about 10 So I think that's a pretty decent solid start. So nice £9 million pound for us looking at the side as well i'm not going to do anything training at the minute i think i'm going to kind of just leave it as it is there's no need for me to worry about training um we'll sort that out in due course but what i'm going to do i'm actually going to play one game this episode and i want you to comment below who you think we should be signing in our career mode because the transfer window's open and of course we got our pre-season going on as well and then the season does start very soon so in august we can still sign players i think the window shuts here it does. So I'm hoping we'll get a few players in around here just to add that little bit of depth. I think £9 million is reasonable for us. But let's get into this game. Ushering in a new era at the club. Can he bring fresh ideas? We're about to find out. Stay with us on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And we have pre-season group stage action from the European International Cup coming up for you. It's Blackburn Rovers, Lewis Holtby. Absolute skillful little man. Oh, through ball to Adam Armstrong. He's through on goal. What's he going to do with it? He's going through on goal. It's going to be 1-0. It is! 13 minutes into the game. Oh my goodness. There it is. Let's move the mic away. I got hella excited there. It's the first goal in Blackburn Rovers well, colours. A beautiful through ball from Holtby. I think that is absolutely incredible. A brilliant goal from Adam Armstrong. I have to say, he's going to do absolutely incredible for us this season. Turn that down. Lovely. Out the bed, Burt, then. Lovely through ball. Adam Armstrong! Oh, it's two! What a finish! Oh, my gosh. Come on, Adam. Oh, he's an absolute boot. He's gone fisheye camera lens for whatever reason, but it's an absolute beautiful goal. Lovely through ball. That's, look at this. He's going to be... Player of the season. It's not a way well, to put it. Look at this. Bradley Dark. Ben Burton. Oh, the touch. Just to tap it around the defence. They a do not stand a chance. The that was absolutely brilliant there. He's down injured. It looks like, it looks like he's going to be down injured. That isn't... A Blackman player, which is very fortunate there. But it looks like there was the challenge with Lewis Travis. He, they both went up for the ball. And it looks like, well, Carglass, the sponsor there. He came down and landed very awkward on his knee, it seems like. It looks like it's a knee issue. I'm not sure what could be the problem there. But it's an early substitution so for Genk. Oh, Dodgy defending it for Mayala. Genk now through on goal. What are they going to do with it? Try not to... Oh, a completely dodgy defending. Lovely save. Oh, what a defending. Oh, that's a 
was absolutely incredible. Bradley Dyke now on the counter attack. Well, it was Cora and Platten Brothers doing. Oh, they've lost it again. And a real great defending. They come, they coming in tight. Oh, it's the goal. That's kind of, that was coming. Oh, I thought we had them. I thought, no way. We they have not scored in our first instance, and then all of a sudden the second goal, the second chance comes forward and they end up putting it in the back of the net. Absolutely unreal. Oh, here we go, Braddy Dak. Oh, no, I played the wrong pass. Ryan Navy, what can he do with it? Oh, I can't believe I played the wrong pass. I'm your bell. Come on, I need someone short. I need someone near. Bradley Dak! Yeah! Oh, so close. And they will make the change now. Keep him there. Keep him there. Uh oh, completely broke open. He's off. He's off. He's got to be off. No. Oh, no. Completely ripped. Oh, unreal. I knew he was in the middle. We just couldn't defend against it. But then that guy, Ayala, out of position once again, kind of catching us off guard. That was so close. I don't know how Camus didn't even see, save that. And uh, Blackman Rovers are very much on the back foot. Ayala, once again, coming out of position. I keep thinking it's Lewis Travis. Still level here. Going into position. Uh oh, there is free one. Oh, good. Oh, no. You're joking. You're joking. Well, it had to be a penalty. Oh, uh, he's, he's, you know what? I've nailed every title with Amir Bell. And um, that one didn't happen. And you can see what the manager thinks, Derek. He just wants his players to calm down. <sighs> it's going from bad to worse. Bottom right, I'm predicting. And my guy didn't even dive either way. What's the point? You know, you try to go bottom right. He just doesn't dive. Keeper's right, by the way. Well, here's the replay. He's got a bit lucky here, Derek. Straight down the middle. And the keeper calls his bluff. How has he not saved that? What a big moment in the dock. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? It looks promising. Come on. Quicker, quicker. Looks promising, mate. Sake. Inside Braddy Dak. No! Oh, man. We lose our first game. And I have to say, what an abysmal second half. Absolutely abysmal. Oh my goodness. Should have done a lot better there. Should have done a lot better. Oh my goodness. That that you know what? This is what's happening in Blackburn in real life. They got such a brilliant side and then all of a sudden they lose in leads. We were so much better than them. I honestly thought easy win, two in the lap. And we end up losing three two. Absolutely unreal. Not the star that I wanted whatsoever. Well, I have to say, looking at the team, um, Ayala is a hit and miss. You know, while the guy, he, he's out of position quite a lot, which is really unfortunate. Like, even times when I'm not controlling him, he's out of position, which usually, like, the third, the second goal, he, Ayala was out of position, and then Lenny and I had to come across, Ryan Nabi had to come across, and then all of a sudden, the guy at the back was completely free, where Lenny is meant to be. So, I think we need to take a look at that. Um, I'm thinking dropping of Harvey earlier. I'm not a fan of him in that first game. Didn't really do much runs. His off-the-ball runs were quite bad. Same with Ben Brewer. He is certainly not a uh, left-winger. 
Like, he's got the attributes for it. Like, not skill moves, but the pace and the agility and the balance and the dribbling. Maybe we keep him there. Maybe we train him to become a striker. But we'll wait and see on that. We'll wait and see what actually happens. But, uh, anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section below. How are we going to improve this side? What do you think we should be doing? Because I think in defender, we need to bring in a left winger. Potentially a right winger as well. Part of me thinking Jeremy Doku could be a good shout. But my first main importance is our left back and that centre back position. So let me know in that comment section below who you think we should be signing. But I will say thanks for watching guys. Hope you all did enjoy it. I hope you all enjoy the new series. I'm going to be bringing this out every other video or so. But uh, yeah, thanks for your support. And uh, you know what? Comment below who you think we should sign. I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye. Jack it up.